What's up everyone, this is Wicked Android HD and this is my first review that I'm making and uh, I'm recording actually in 1080p so pay attention if you haven't switched already to 1080p make sure you do because it's a lot of more crispier than before and uh, as you may see everything is more sharpened it's still recording in 60 frames per at 60 frames per second so this is not uh, an improvement um, so tonight I'm gonna be showing you I'm gonna be making a review of uh, this beautiful Google edition fight based uh, uh, version of uh, Android based on Android 5.1 as you may see Android 5.1 this is the build number and as you may see I'm running GTI 9505 variant of the Galaxy S4 sorry for my voice I am hell of a lot tired right now um, I know you may already heard of the fact that I'm doing reviews on Friday night but I don't think I'll be able to do it tomorrow night actually yeah tomorrow night uh, so I decided to do it this night so Thursday night it is out so I'm gonna get into all the features of this ROM and all the pros and all the cons as I do always as I always do um, and I will start with the cons because it's better to leave the best at the end to make a good impression about this ROM because there aren't uh, a lot of uh, bad parts but there are kinds of uh, you know, uh, bad bad bugs, heavy bugs, giant bugs that I can't uh, get past them because uh, you know you can set up a sorry you can set up a custom wallpaper for example if you pick an image let's let's see if we pick an image like this it says couldn't load images which is really bad so I set up a live look or live wallpaper which it looks cool so this is a major bug for me um, the NVDH take in mind uh, he removed all the bloatware so he may have already uh, removed by mistake some critical apps that require that uh, wallpaper choosing require to work so another <coughs> another bug that I found was actually I found by you know chatting with my friends on WhatsApp and let me show you what I mean by that so if I go into a chat like that and I press the the record button it says can set up the recorder now please try again later and it keeps saying that even though restarting the app or I can't even play the media files like the recorded audio files uh, received from my friends and I think it's because of the of a bug called um, <coughs> cannot access the SD card from some reason don't know why but uh, this is also a major bug so yeah they should fix it uh, they should fix all the bugs in the next version at least we hope so now let's uh, get into the advantages of this beautiful beautiful ROM the first one is this that is based on Android 5.1 which brings you some interesting new touches to the user interface like uh, I will show them right now so if you press like this you'll get all the Wi-Fi networks available and of course if we click uh, the the data toggle you'll get into some data monitor which monitors your data usage um, oh, I forgot about a, oh, I forgot about a bug um, take a look at this bug so here I have tons of notifications installed apps but the most uh, annoying bug is that you can't so if you slide down like this your 
your notification won't stay opened as you may see like this so if I let down the touch screen it will go up again which is really nasty instead of that you can access the quick tools from here really great touch again present in uh, was implemented in Android 5.1 Another cool feature is that you can switch from different types of sound uh, sound modes going to non priority mode and all which allows you to have all the notification sounds and all the dial up tones on. Speaking of dial up tones, let's see how the uh, in call uh, in call user interface looks like so this is how it looks like call ended not uh, not a single lag because as you may already know there was some lag on uh, Android 5.0.1 the same uh, developer same ROM but based on Android 5.0.1 it was a really well-known bug um, these are some apps that I have installed after I uh, flashed this ROM. Not such a big deal. This is mostly bloat free, so you may not experience nasty lags. Um, personally, I have experienced uh, a couple of freezing moments, but uh, afterwards uh, it had to build up cache because. I have wiped with my device firstly before flashing this ROM so yeah after all this is a great ROM and um, I hope it will get more stable because it's not uh, suitable for daily usage right now but uh, I have uh, all my confidence in Den VDH's um, build and uh, I hope it will get better and better based on our recommendation, our bug reports, our log cats and so on. So this was the, the review for today, I hope you like it guys, if you did, please make sure you thumbs up, subscribe right down to my channel and uh, if you like to mo see more 1080p videos, make sure you click that share button so everybody could see my reviews. Thank you for watching guys, Wicked Android is out, bye bye.